How you doing guys? My name is Dante. This is the Event Horizon YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to generate your own QR code and how to customize it. Um, for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to use Creative Cloud InDesign and Illustrator. Let's get started with Adobe InDesign. Just create a blank uh, document, doesn't matter what it is, and then go to Object, Generate QR Code. Now we hit, we get different options. We gain uh, we get plain text, we, uh, web hyperlink, text message, email, business card. Let's just do web hyperlink for now. We can just do something like YouTube for now. Uh, you can change the color too. We'll just leave it black for now. Click OK. Click anywhere in the document. And now what we can do is actually click on it. Command C to copy. Then we're going to click um, Command Tab, Release Tab. Now we can go from uh, all the different applications we have open. Click on the Illustrator CC, let go. Now I already have some samples, and basically this is for a business card, and this is for my uh, YouTube channel. So what you can do now is just click Command V to paste. Now keep in mind before you let go, all of these little shapes are individual shapes. So group them, command G, and that's it. Now you can change the color. You can go to a gray if you want to. You can uh, actually use a gradient. Like I said, it's all, unless you go to Pathfinder and consolidate the shapes, you're gonna get essentially the gradient on every single little shape, as you can see. But like I said, if you want to consolidate that, you just go to shape uh, Pathfinder, Shapes Mode, and click on Unite. Now you can use your gradient tool to dictate the angle of the gradient. And that's it. Now, like I said, if we, get, uh, if we click Command Tab, go, to, go back to Adobe InDesign, we can actually go to Object, Generate QR Code, and then we can change it to business card. And then here we can type our name, last name, title, cell phone, phone number, email, um, URL, the name of the company, address, city, state, postal code, country. And um, we can do just, I can use my name for now, just something easy. Something like that. I mean, you can use every field if you want. And then you get another one. Same thing with this one. If you click Command C, Command Tab, let go of the tab, go to Adobe uh, Illustrator. We can leave this one or delete it. Like I said, I already have one. And I'm going to show you how to uh, place a small logo inside the QR code. Uh, now let's do Command V, Command G to group all the individual shapes. And this is what we get. And like I said, the same thing. You can use a solid color. If you use a gradient, um, just remember you have to, using your uh, gradient tool, you have to uh, tell it the direction of the gradient. And you can either leave it all as individual shapes or make it one using the uh, path, uh, Unite option under Pathfinder. Now, let's just say that we already have that. And um, Let's just say that this is my business card. Like I said, my name, a title, information. But let's just say that maybe I have a, a logo that I want in the middle. All that I did basically, now let me go to my YouTube link. And we're just gonna group this one for now. And really all that it is, I have a black circle just to keep uh, the uh, QR code from touching the, the circle in here. And uh, a triangle representing the, the play button from uh, YouTube. Now, if I show you, that's my, my QR code. And if I turn the, the layer on, this is what I have. And I mean, you can have anything. I can really, I can go to my shape uh, tool. Um, let's just say I want a star. And then 
let's copy its attributes. Now let's get rid of the triangle. Now I'll show you what I did before I do that. Basically, I have my black circle, then I have an inner circle with just a stroke applied to it. And then you can drop in your shape. If you want to align the shape, in this case, it start to the uh, inner circle, or we do select both, go to align, make sure you have um, make sure you have your show options selected and then go to align, align to key object select in this case my key object will be the start but I'm going to select the inner circle and I'll do not just align to the center horizontally and vertically okay that's it so there it is that's all it takes now the only thing I would I'm going to recommend is that um you test it, you just base, and I'm gonna demo this at the end of this tutorial, but you just wanna download an app from the App Store, a Q, uh, QR code reader, or scanner, I should say, and then basically you just size it as big as you want, and um, obviously take into consideration how fast the QR code uh, QR code scanner can scan the, the actual QR, Q, QR code, I'm sorry. So that is the only thing I'm, I'm gonna suggest that before you print this that you actually scan it and see how difficult it is for something this size and I'm going to tell you how big the QR code is I have it at one inch by one inch and uh, my logo in the middle is actually 0.3 inches by 0.3 inches you can still go a little bit bigger and it'll work like I said I'm going to demo this specific uh, example at the end of the tutorial now same thing for this you can have something in the middle this specific QR code is actually for the um, uh, a business card and what that's gonna do and like I said I will demo this you're gonna get you're gonna uh, scan it and it, it all, it's gonna ask you to access your contact information it's basically gonna present everything uh, and just like you see your contacts in your iPhone so it's gonna bring all that information with your name address and phone number and all the information you provided so if somebody doesn't want to type it manually they can actually scan the QR code and just transfer that information over so like I said, but like I said, I am going to demo this at the end of the uh, tutorial. So like I said, if you want to have a, a logo or graphic in your QR code, it is doable. And like I said, it's very simple. You just saw how I did it. Just drew two circles, add a graphic in the middle, and then I center, center the graphic to the QR code. And, made, and basically when I came up with this, I was actually scanning my QR code to see how big I could go. I can actually go bigger, but I decided to stay with this, um, with these dimensions. But like I say, if you want to go bigger, go bigger. Just uh, before you send it to print, make sure you scan it just to see how easy the QR code scanner will be able to scan it. Well, and like I said, before I say goodbye, I'm actually gonna demo the uh, the, the two samples that I have here, and then and then you're gonna be able to see how exactly this works. you saw the demo it's actually pretty simple pretty cool so now you know how to generate customize your own QR, uh, QR code with color and actually graphics in the middle and you also saw how easy it is to uh, for somebody would how easy it would be to just scan your QR code and actually get all of your contact info so well guys hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it make sure to subscribe to my channel 
I upload videos every week in both English and Spanish in case you don't speak Spanish fluently or you speak Spanish or understand it a little bit. Um, any suggestions, just leave me a comment. Thank you guys. We'll